In this video, I wanted to break down one of my favorite passing concepts out of Trips Tight End. This is a newer concept, or at least newer to me, in terms of actually utilizing this in your every down offense. I think that this is a really, really good concept, especially when you force somebody to have to play a lot of zone defense with you. If they're in 2-4-5 odd, this is a great defense. If they're playing a lot of cover 2, um, also if, even if they're playing cover 4, cover 3, but when you've got them in a position where they're having to go to zone, now we do have some man beaters within this, and I'll teach that in the video. This is a great change of pace play. It's also really good against the blitz, one of my favorite concepts against the blitz because you really can't blitz this. Um, so let's just jump into the video. Now, if you're new to the channel, I do want to ask that you would hit the subscribe button. We're in the New England Patriots playbook today. We're talking about the trips tight end formation. I've got a full ebook on that in my Patreon membership. If you want to get access to that, remember the Patreon can get you access to every Madden 22 ebook that I've released, which is 18 offensive and defensive guides as the as it sits currently. We've got more guides coming. Uh, the cool part about it, I want to remind you that um, with the Patreon membership, you also get every update to those ebooks throughout the year. So we typically update the Patreon membership probably two to four times a week with updates to ebooks, exclusive tips, pro player film studies, all that kind of stuff. So the beauty of this is if you join it for just $10 a month, you're getting every ebook, but you're also getting every update and you're getting any new ebooks that we release. So it's basically $10 a month gets you access to everything, uh, unlocks everything over at the Patreon membership. And I think it's a great deal for you. If you're looking to get better at the game, there's a link in the description below if you want to sign up for that. Okay, guys, let's take a look at PA shot wheel and really leveraging the power of the wheel route out of, um, out of PA shot wheel. So first foremost, we're going to talk about cover four, then we're going to go to the cover three, cover two, and then we're going to talk main coverage. Um, what we're going to do here is we're just going to take this receiver, Mike Evans, and put him on a quick out. As you can see, it's just a simple quick out. We're then going to take Scotty Miller. We're going to put him on a flat. We're going to streak our tight end. And then we're going to wheel our running back and motion Scotty Miller to the right. Now this streak flat wheel concept is one of my favorite ones because the streak to the tight end really does a good job of pulling the zones and forcing the user to have to make a decision. So let's say, for example, just hypothetically, if someone is running cover th uh, four against your defense, chances are they're actually going to be over here. Okay. So what's going to happen is they're on the left side of the field and you're throwing the ball over here. They can't get there to use it. And there's no defense in the game that will guard that concept just basic as it is. They have to use her the running back route. So what they're probably going to do in cover four is now they're going to want to try to use her over here. And they're, wanting to, they're going to want to go try to guard the running back. The problem with that is if they jump out to that running back too fast, what you're going to notice is going to happen is this is going to be a wide open middle of the field for your tight end. And that's why I like that tight end streak against this uh, concept. If you want to put the tight end on a post, or even a curl for that matter, or a deep in route, it's a really good route. Just a simple, smart route and in. You don't even need hot route master for this. It's a great decision against this concept because you really are going to put them in a position that's hard. So watch this tight end in route. Watch it just work across the formation, have multiple points that you can throw it. Okay, so you can use that as well if you want to. Um, let's talk a little bit now against uh, against cover three. So if they go to cover three, it's basically the same as cover four um, in the sense that like the, the wheel to the back is going to be wide open. You just want to make sure you're lowballing it and you're pass leading it inside, and that's going to help you beat every cover three in the game. So that's that's you know your cover three read over there on that side. Now, your cover four read on the left side, so when they start having a user over on the right side, your cover four read is basically exactly the same. What you're going to notice against cover four is you can lowball that wheel upfield as well. The yellow zones typically don't drop it being primarily because we are to the outside. Uh, we are to the outside of the field uh, in terms of, or the wide side of the field. So we have more space horizontal space to work. So you see here, just low ball right there, and you see how open that gets. Okay, very good route concept. So that is the cover four, and then let me show you that wheel against cover three, which is very similar. Um, cover three will defend it a little bit better, but by and large, it's pretty much the same. You can zig or out route that guy. He's still gonna pull all the zones, which is nice. 
So he pulls his own, low ball, you're going to click on and undercut it against the third. Okay, so very, very good. Um, in my opinion, just a very good route concept. The out route is probably the, the best clear route, to be honest with you. But against cover three, again, they have to use for both sides of the field, which is what's hard. And as you can see, it gets wide open if you just have patience with it and you wait on the route. Now, what about what about a double flat? So let's say they have hard flat and a seam flat. Uh, I will say seam flats do tend to play this decently um, because we are motioning into doubles. But I will also say that, let's just show you the concept here. You'll see here that the seam flat gets pulled out before, so it's got outside leverage, and you can still hit that on the inside. Most of the time, uh, most of the time they're going to be putting these outside linebackers though in curl flat. So it's going to look something like this if they're if they're going to mabel. And what you'll see, what you'll see over here is now you're going to have them in a position where those curl flats get pulled out, pass lead inside, click on, and just cut it off before it gets to the outside third defender. So the same thing, of course, on the right side where they're going to have to they're going to have to man some stuff up. Now, what I like about this concept also is let's say that we're working this um, working this this route combo, and let's just say that they're going to sit in the Mabel coverage and they're going to put this guy on the running back. That's going to be their general uh, strategy in terms of how they're going to stop. But they might even take this guy and man him up on circle receiver. Let's just say, okay. What this now is going to do is going to open up the whole middle of the field for your tight end post or your tight end in route or even your tight end streak, whatever you want to do with him, to be able to work. So you see now he's got that whole middle of the field to be able to get open. Okay. If you want to streak him, that is fine. Um, you can streak him. You can out route or uh, deep deep uh, in route him, or you can post him. And I'll show you the post real quick. The beauty of the post is. They basically put themselves in a position where it's really hard to guard that route. Okay. You can also curl him too, by the way. So if I want to do something like this, you'll see right here, this is a great option because that curl is really going to hold zones. See how he holds that yellow? And then now you have that. So you can easily do that as well. Okay. Um, last coverage that I want to hit on, or uh, last zone coverage is cover two. Now, cover two has a vertical hook, so most people will tell you that a vertical hook is all you need to stop a wheel. That's not exactly the case. What you'll notice, with this, especially with this left side, is this wheel will cut up field, and then you're going to pass lead that to the outside, and you see that it puts them in a really hard position to be able to try to get over there and to intercept that. So it's very good against cover two to the left side. Uh, let me show it to you one more time on the left side and this time I'm going to drop that linebacker in a hard flat so you have a little extra flat protection and what you'll see is pass lead that up into the seam and you can cut that off very good route against cover two very good route against cover two and then on the running back side you're going to see that because of the tight end streak or the any route vertical of the tight end so if it's a curl if it's a streak if it's a post if it's an out route even technically if it's a quarter route but you would probably not want to run a corner route. You'll see right here, see how that vertical hook is going to carry, and then you can actually, or I messed my, threw it way too late, but you can throw that inside. Once that vert hook kind of falls inside, you can throw that, and then I'm going to also show you something else you can do with this. But let me show you the vert hook one more time. Most people, when you run this, they're going to put themselves in a position where they have to run cover two. But what you'll see, low ball right there, it's still wide open because the, the streak is pulling the vertical hook back. So their solution is going to be to shade their coverage down and re-cloud flat their outside guys, which is problematic, again, for um, the tight end. So you're going to, again, be in a position here. So you see, watch this shaded down. It doesn't really do anything. Notice it doesn't affect it, okay? It's because the tight end is getting on top of that route so much that it's really hard for them to get back underneath it, okay? Uh, let's talk about man coverage real briefly. So if you if you feel like it's a lot of man coverage, you would want to put the tight end on a post. Um, but if you don't know, you can just run it like this. The wheel is always open against man. Always open against man. 
So you have the low ball wheel. Um, you don't want to spam this play. This isn't a play that you want to just come out and run every time, in my opinion. It's something you want to kind of use as a change of pace concept. Um, because if they do some crazy cross man stuff, it can uh, hurt you. This wheel on the left is kind of um, it's kind of it, honestly hit or miss in terms of its ability to consistently just um, torch cover two man. But against cover one, I'll show you something with this. Um, but this is cover two man one more time. If you low ball and pass lead inside, he will almost always be open anyway. Okay, and a lot of times if they don't have a safety help over top then you can find that that route will actually burn it, burn the man coverage. So you'll see here again, this is now against cover one with two purples. And what you'll see here, if you low ball, you can kind of cut it off. Okay. Now, like I said, the two purples, they, they kind of do play that specific wheel on that specific side better. And I'll show it one more time. And it's primarily due to the fact that the curl flat is so far inside that it just gets out there. But if you low ball, you see there, it's not. It, it, if you click on, you low ball, you click on, you put yourself in a position to make a play. This actually is not that bad of a route. I will say the curl flat makes it where you have to hold the ball just long enough to make it a little bit more difficult of a throw, which is why I prefer this wheel to back or the post to the tight end against man. But you can kind of cut that off, as you can see. Okay, so that is this concept. And it's really a great play, especially, again, if it's a change of pace play, there's almost no defense for it. Because they don't have any idea this is what you're doing. Most of the time, you're going to be doing a ton of other concepts with their trips tied in. And this play right here is just kind of a nice little change of pace play for you. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to learn some of those power concepts, if you want to learn more about trips tied in, there's an ebook in my Patreon. Uh, remember by joining the patreon you get everything you get access to all of the material for only ten dollars a month you unlock the whole page um, with all of the tips and tricks all of the exclusive ebooks all of that stuff so we've got 18 offensive and defensive guides including the trips tied in so if you want to check that out there's a link in the description below where you can go sign up thanks for watching and if you want to join the patreon head down to the description of the video and click the link down there